Eureka! Finally, we are done. Well, huh, the hole is dug, let's say that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tommy Needles with Kellen Williams Platinum Partners on a follow-up to part two of installing the sump pump. I would recommend getting a little handheld pump like this because what I ran into is there's water still pressurizing underneath the slab, underneath the dirt. I'm about three feet down and I can still see water uh, around the sump pump. Grade-wise, I am deep enough here. I'm actually gonna hold the lip down of the sump pump. I think you can kind of see it. Yeah, here we go. A little bit lower than the concrete so that if any other additional water come in, it will drop down to the sump pump and get into. I actually have a all-inclusive seal pump that actually has a condensation drain hole for it as well. I'm gonna install an ice machine, woo woo, and that's where I'm gonna dump the condensation line from the ice maker. Um, we are so close to getting this thing dialed in. We're gonna backfill the gravel, leave about four inches shy, because then what I'm gonna do is take the uh, six or so bags of concrete that I have outside, and I'm gonna layer the top portion of this so it all is flush, falls just a little bit to the sump pump, and should be perfect. From there, it's installing the sump pump components, tightening everything down and shooting her up, shooting her out, and away from the house. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tommy Needles again. Part two, part three, we'll probably be coming after this. Keep around, stay tuned.